All right, welcome back to Cinco Paws. Uh, last time we got a pretty decent start here. Uh, let's keep it going and hopefully get some artifacts. And uh, yeah, let's go. What, what, why did the button not work? <laughs> I swear I just clicked it. Okay, all right. Um, okay, once again, once again, we've got a pretty nice pillar here, right off the bat. Um, it is a little bit awkward that I'm going to be, well, I guess I'm thinking that, you know, I, do, I don't particularly want to shoot at nothing. Um, I think maybe last time I didn't, I didn't quite explain all of the reasons that you want to that you want to hit hit a target like an enemy or an item you at least really want to you, you at least really want your beam your wand ray to pass through an item if not an enemy like i was saying last time um enemy specifically has has extra checks compared to items the only thing that an item has over the only check you get from passing through an item that you don't get from passing through an enemy, I believe, is the grab, the grab spell. Um, whereas enemy has a few extra ones, but um, I mean, situationally, it has a lot of extra ones. But in pretty much any case, it has a few extra ones. Um, but yeah, you you want you want to you want your beam to at least pass through an item if possible in in zone one because. You're testing in that case for transform and dupe, which are two of the most important, two of the most important things to test for. So, like in a case like this, I'm gonna have to shoot. I'm I'm gonna want to shoot some of my wands at least. Maybe not all of them, but I'm gonna want to want to use at least a couple of wands before before I can realistically shoot through an item, which means I'm going to want to shoot at an enemy to get those transform and dupe tests in. I mean, by the way, there there is a possibility that you shoot an, at an enemy and and you don't actually test, don't, and it doesn't, doesn't actually end up testing, doesn't actually end up giving you information about whether you have transform or dupe on that wand, like say... Say I shoot at a shrimp and it has an X at the very top uh, of the wand. In that case, you didn't really get that much information, unfortunately, because uh, there could there could be a transform or a dupe below that X, which is why in a lot of cases, well, it's one reason why it's good to shoot at multiple multiple enemies if possible, or like an enemy and an item uh, would be maybe even better. But um, but yeah, hopefully that, like, yeah, <laughs> hopefully that ex explains a little bit more why it's good to to shoot at enemies often in in zone one. But yeah, in this case, I'm thinking. Don't really want to shoot at nothing. Like shooting right now would not be great, especially since we don't know, we don't know if the shrimp is moving up into my line of sight next turn or if it's moving this way which would make me want to shoot another another wand at nothing and like if i do that maybe i'm missing out on pillar treasure like say this wand gives me pillar treasure or buried treasure then i would maybe be missing out on that same check on this wand so it feels very bad to to shoot a wand right now so i think i, I definitely want to step forward so i'll just go ahead and do that um so yeah since, since there's there are two shrimp on me I don't really want to don't really want to shoot right now again <laughs> so I'm thinking about just stepping back into my corner it feels like it feels like the safest thing to do this is going to be kind of okay I think I think I see how this is, this should play out um 
Like if I, if I step back into my corner, the, one of the shrimps, one of the shrimps is going to follow me. And if I, I think if I punch that shrimp from the corner, there's a pretty good chance, if not a 100% chance that an enemy is going to end up on this against this pillar here and nothing is going to be on me. Let's, let's see. I, I'm hoping this lizard is going to end up here. One of these two lizards is going to end up here. Let's, I don't, I, I, I don't see any really, I don't see any other, other decent options really, other than stepping back in this corner right now. I mean, if I step left, there's a possibility I'm surrounded by three enemies. That's just terrible. Okay. Um, yeah, so since there are two different enemies that kind of want to compete with this lizard for this spot, you know, this, say I punch this shrimp right now, which is what I'm thinking about, this shrimp is going to want to move here, and this shrimp's going to want to move here. So, unless, yeah, unless this lizard moves first, it's going down here. And even if it does move first, there's a 50% chance it's going down here. So that's, what, a, a 1 in 6 chance that it goes the wrong way? Let's... Let's just hope that it goes down. Cool. Okay. Now, let me try to apply. <laughs> let me try to apply a pro tip that a uh, person man in the Bro Games Discord gave me uh, after I uploaded the first episode of this. Um, and l let me see if I can try to explain first. So, basically, basically. Last time I explained how when I'm choosing which wand to shoot, the main thing I think about is just, you know, I'm standing in com column five right now, so I don't really want to shoot wand five. I want to shoot any of these other wands, one, one through four. Um, but, you know, and, and if, if I were, if I were shooting upward, I would, I would try to pick the one in the, in the column I'm currently standing in so that it, it gets test for it gets tested for uh, wand refresh, but it's actually basically what he was saying is it's it's useful for it's useful to think ahead about what you're going to what wands you're go, you're potentially going to want to shoot upward in the future or where you might be standing in the future in this zona, um, so that if you if you want to shoot something upwards anyway you end up it, it you, if there's a chance that you're going to end up shooting a wand that could refresh itself that is better than shooting a wand that might refresh a different wand so for instance maybe i'll end up i mean probably the most likely thing well i don't know i, I don't think this this consideration is maybe super relevant in this room compared to zona one in the in the previous episode, uh, the previous Jogo, but I guess the likely places where I'm going to want to shoot upward are uh, column three. I, I, I could see myself ending up down here shooting upward at an enemy or something, uh, like maybe the last enemy, or maybe... Um, if I tell if I end up teleporting through all the way to here, maybe I would somehow want to shoot upward from here, or um, maybe maybe here. I, I'm not I'm not sure. I mean this 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 has a this has a corner treasure, so maybe I'll want to go over here and shoot shoot this one upward for some reason. But you know, just just think about like how much more value you're getting. Like say say I use one three right now and then I do end up wanting to shoot upward from column three well doing this is not going to change how many how many refreshes get revealed but it is going to change what gets refreshed so if I end up shooting upward from column th column three using wand four it, it's going to refresh a wand that probably doesn't have a wand refresh on it and that is just m much less valuable on average than refreshing the wand that actually has the refresh because when you refresh the wand that actually has the refresh you can use it maybe multiple additional times and you can choose which other wand that charge ultimately 
feeds into. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm, I'm still, still trying to understand this myself and, you know, maybe haven't figured out all the reasons why it's good and maybe haven't, uh, figured out the best ways to apply it yet. But yeah, that was, that was an interesting, uh, bit of feedback I got from my gameplay last time. Um, okay. So I don't know. I think probably like wand four is the best, like it's pretty, I, I think it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to want to shoot wand four upward in this, in this Jogo, sorry, in this Zona. Um, I mean, maybe I would want to try to test for transform or dupe on that, but like, I think more likely I'd stand like down here. Also, it's locked right now, so I can't even hit the ceiling from there. So let's, let's go with that. And yeah, this, this seems like a pretty, pretty good first test. Okay. Um, well, I don't love that these guys are both on parity with me. I could maybe just kill the shrimp, kill the step out, kill the shrimp when I'm out here tanking a hit from the lizard because I know I'm going to get at least one health most likely I'm going to get at least one health back anyway and then I don't know get the lizard into some favorable favorable position to um, to shoot at it okay so because I have a because I, I know that I have a break wall spell the pillar the pillar treasure test or this testing on this pillar is instantly much less valuable than it typically would be um or than it than it originally was like when i first stepped in here and didn't know anything um because i i have i have a way that in i have a way to break the key out i have a way to sorry to, to break the treasure out of the cage which it doesn't unfortunately doesn't work in this room but um in most in most rooms maybe <laughs> i don't know it feels like over over 50 percent of rooms this this works to to break the treasure out um so yeah like half like half the value of shooting at a pillar specifically is in discovering stuff that uh is going to help you break the break the treasure out so so we've just lost a lot of the value for that so now now i'm thinking you know, I'd really like to test up into one of these corners, get some wand refresh tests in, while also maybe getting some more, also maybe getting some more tests on enemies. Um, alternatively, I could, I could just kind of kill the enemies sooner. Like I could, I could step left step back right into my corner and then like do one punch on the lizard and then like hope the shrimp ends up there so that I get a good like hit on both of them you know I'm 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 still I'd still be hitting this pillar which is maybe not the best the best test ever but it's not terrible not not terrible in that case when I'm getting when I'm also hitting two different enemies and in, in a row and both on corpses and you know the pillar still adds some value it's you know potentially giving me pillar treasure and maybe a helping helping me get a snipe test as well um so you know of course there's also always the possibility of testing on the chase frog which um you know it's it's good when the when the chase frog is like in a corner like this it enters in a corner like this cuz you can you can possibly like shoot straight at it and get get corner treasure tests and get tests on a wall 
you know, like in this case, the charge attack from hitting the right wall. Um, so I, I guess maybe I might, maybe since, since I don't have a great opportunity here to test on these enemies without, um, without taking a bunch of damage, like if I'm, if I'm thinking I want to test all these wands on enemies, I'm probably going to end up taking a lot of damage. Um, if I'm, if I'm trying to do that on these enemies, but if I, if I can test on the chase frog, if I can save all of them to test on the chase frog, then I can pretty safely, I can pretty safely do that. Um, so maybe I, I just want to save most of my wands to test on the chase frog. And, and maybe I even want to like use this wand if, if I'm going to use one of my wands from here. Maybe I want to use this wand to break this so that I can clear a, get more space between me and the chase frog, so that I can you know shoot shoot at this chase frog as soon as it's at spawn as soon as it spawns from over here, rather than having to stand right here. I mean, am I? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, this I'm definitely giving up some potential um, value from from checking this. You know, I would I'll, if I'm not using this to this one five to break this wall, I would probably want to test it for refresh and and for um, corner treasure up here. But it'll be good to get some enemy some enemy checks on it. I think here. I don't know if. Even like, even, even shooting it from here, like it's not, it doesn't exactly work out great. Like, you know, I either do it right now and I'm not hitting any enemies or I step forward and back and like I could have a lizard right on top of me, which I really don't want. Hmm. I am really not sure. Let's, let's. Let's think about what it would look like a, a little bit more to like kind of get out of this corner right now, but keep one of these enemies alive. Um, it just feels like I'm taking a lot of damage in, in most cases. Like I step out, I punch the, punch the shrimp. I mean, I could, I could try to wait, I guess I guaranteed get out. Hang on. <laughs> There's, this space and this space both have three directions I can move. So worst, worst case scenario, I end up like getting down into this corner, but I could also end up with a way out down here, or I could end up with a way out up here where I can kind of sneak past. I, I really should have noticed this earlier. I start, I started thinking about it, but then I started explaining a bunch of other stuff instead, um, instead of fully thinking it through. I, I feel like that's maybe the right move, or at least let's at least step forward and see how this lizard moves. Because if this lizard moves up here, it becomes a lot less likely that I can get anywhere other that I can end up getting out this way. But if he steps right here, then I feel like it's going to be good to try to move left, maybe. Okay, he stepped the bad way. Um. Yeah. So like now, if I. Now if I move down, I'm kind of just, I mean, 25% chance this lizard blocks off the shrimp, which would, which would just be great, but 75% chance both enemies move down and I kind of just end up moving into this corner, which, I mean, maybe that's not the worst thing because if I move into this corner, Um, like maybe, maybe I can use this wand and test for corner tre. I mean, that doesn't, that's not any better than using this wand to test for pillar treasure. I mean, it's, it's actually worse because I want to break this pillar, right? I don't know. I like the idea of breaking this pillar, but I mean, Let's let's think about those chase frog tests that I was thinking about. Like, is it actually 
Is it actually that valuable to shoot the chase frog here? I mean, I'm getting a charge attack, which is maybe going to help free up Juan charges in the next zona for treasure for more treasure chests. Um, I don't know. It feels like it feels like a decent amount of information from from shooting the frog here, and like there's a bunch of corpses here, so I'm going to get a few different corpse tests if I save a few few different wands for for the chase frog. I think I just have to step right here. Um, hope hopefully the hopefully the shrimp will get on me and then the lizard will get back to here. Um, is there anything like any reason why I would shoot a wand here? I mean, <laughs> always my first consideration with shooting a wand in a situation like this is I could teleport and just instantly take two damage and get be in a bad spot i mean in some ways that's a better spot it's a better position but it's not good to take two damage here just for that teleport i think well another thing is i'm i didn't think about this but now i'm in a position to forget this break wall which is maybe maybe not great it's so like maybe i should be using the break wall here rather than any other wand simply because it has the least chance of, of forgetting this. Um, or maybe I should be stepping out after punching this. Let's, I think I punched this shrimp no matter what. So, okay. So now, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at least, ser I'm at least seriously considering just stepping out here to avoid forgetting this break wall, which I really want. Um, yeah, that, that, it feels right to step out here. Let's do that, but not sure where we're going from there. So <clears throat> it's very hard to compare the value of like, if I were to get this lizard to be standing here while I'm standing here and I shoot this, that is, how, how do those checks compare to you know that then frees me up to use my other my, the rest of my wand charges on the frog. But how does all that compare to like shooting upward through this key, like standing down here or something, and getting the checks on this key plus plus potential like this 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 is this is a wand refresh check, and then it's a potential like corner bounce. I mean. And if I am doing that, do I want to keep the lizard alive a little bit more for this? Because I could, I could, could end up taking, could very easily end up taking two more hits. But that's just going to leave me at, at three health, which is not the end of the world. I do think I value the corner bounce check more than the corner treasure check. You know, if I'm thinking about which column I'm going to want to shoot upward in, it's, I think. I think it is this one, even if the key weren't here, maybe. I don't know. Since the key is here, I, I definitely think I think this one is, is, is better in this case. Um, hmm. So yeah, I could I could loop all the way around, end up here, and the lizard would, would be guaranteed to be right there, and I could shoot upward at it, but it's not that high. Chances are not that high that, that he dies there. So I'm probably just going to end up taking two damage and just get a little bit of, a little bit more of a check on, on this one wand. I think I think I might just want to punch this guy or I guess since I since I'm thinking I want to break this wall I should I should break this wall while shooting this lizard um, and I'd, I'd like to do it on this side you know I could guarantee that I get it here right now I could guarantee that I end up here and the, the lizard ends up here but I'd like to do it on the corpse if possible let's give it a little bit more time at least to for for him to hopefully end up there. 
One more. Okay, feels bad. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do it from the other side. Oh, that's not great. I was hoping I had a little more time. <laughs> I probably I shouldn't have gone for that one more. But I don't know. This is this still feels like the right thing to do. Hang on. One one thing that I find is that after I make a mistake, I mean, I was, I was kind of playing a little bit loose here, so it's not exact. This is not exactly like the definition of a mistake to me, but especially when I'm when I make a, a like a real a real mistake, like I actually missed something and noticed immediately, and like I I in in that case, I often kind of get a little bit mad at myself while I'm playing and my, I, I, I guess, I guess the word is tilt. <laughs> I, I go, I go on tilt and start play. I notice myself making my next few moves after that much more quickly than I normally would and missing important possibilities and making more dumb mistakes because of it. It's, it's very obvious to me when that's happening. And so yeah, I try to I try to consciously notice that as soon as possible, and I think maybe it was minorly happening here, uh, even though this. I don't know. I will. I wasn't thinking hard enough to like really consider this a, a mistake that the frog was coming out sooner than I expected. But, um, but yeah, it's it's good to. I guess uh, one one great benefit of playing any game, as much as as much as I've been playing Syncopause, as you know going super deep on any game uh, a, a benefit is that you get to see how your own mind works and uh, understand weird things about that and understand weird things about yourself and yeah I've, I've definitely uh, noticed some some patterns in my in my thinking and how my yes yeah, so just just stuff like that stuff like uh, how my mindset changes as a result of certain things and how to how to adapt to that and minimize the negative impact. So, yeah, I like I like to consciously <laughs> notice when that's happening and just just slow down for a second and chill out. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think there's something different that I want to do because of this. I mean, I think if I just start firing wands, I think I just want to fire wands here no matter what happens. I think I just want to start. <laughs> start blasting because you know this frog's going to be in my line of sight hopefully for two more turns after this i feel like chances are just pretty good that one of these is is gonna chances are pretty good that these guys are gonna die eventually if i just start <laughs> if i'm just if i'm just blasting away and i mean if if this lizard goes down to one health i'll, I'll punch it but uh other than that i i it just it just feels good to to be blasting here. I think. <laughs> Not sure if I could more thoroughly explain that, but there you go. Okay. I said if the lizard went down to one health, I would I would punch it, and arguably, <laughs> arguably that is technically what happened. The lizard went down to one health. Um. But I'm not sure if I if I want to punch or not. I don't know if if I don't punch and it doesn't die, I'm just gonna have to punch anyway, and then the frog's gonna be right on top of me. I think I might as well punch and then shoot. This frog is still gonna be on a on a corpse. I'm still testing for this corner. Tra you know, I was I was also thinking like maybe I want to step up and hope that the frog also steps up and lets me test for earthquake while I'm while I'm shooting at it, at the frog. I guess I did say that that this bounce is more valuable to me than the corner treasure. And if it bounces up, it will also check a corner. Hmm. The problem is if I step up right now, the frog could step left. And then if I hit punch the shrimp, the frog could step left again and I could end up in this in this awkward situation 
and like, you know, maybe I step up again to try to get the frog in my line of sight from there to try to semi fix the problem. But then maybe the frog steps up and he's still on diagonal with me and I have to go all the way into this corner. And then maybe he steps there. Like, I like this. I like how guaranteed this is right now. Or, I mean, after I punch the shrimp to just get it one decent shot on this frog. So, I don't know, could, could, could be wrong, but this feels right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, usually the first thing I'm thinking when I see poison is, okay, I want this, I want the poison to get the last hit, because it could have Dorado on it, but dupe cannot appear with Dorado, so I don't care about that. Um... So maybe I'm thinking about punching this frog right now because I'm not, I'm probably not going to be able to <laughs> get out of this. Well, I could get into a situation where both of them are spaced out from me and I get a, I get to shoot on, I get to shoot at one of them. Like, okay, what, what if I start walking here? Let's say I step up. Well, okay. One, two, three. Hmm. Let's say I step up. It, well, it's always interesting. It's always like a little bit s strange, <laughs> surprising to me, even though I'm used to it, to see them on different, <laughs> on different poison timers in this case, because like, I, I guess the, the tick happens when they move. So like, you know, this, this frog hasn't moved yet because the duped one doesn't, doesn't move on its first turn. So that's, that's a little bit funny, but, um, Okay, if I, I guess I could punch, I could punch here. The most obvious thing is I punch here and then I get a chance to shoot at this frog right now. Like if it, if it steps up, I get another decent test on it. You know, worth, worth, worth at least mentioning that um, it's not quite as good a test as before since poison is no longer a, a possible test, but um But, you know, still pretty good. Still testing for a corpse kill. Still testing for a frog kill. Still testing for a gem kill, which is not great. But, you know, still testing for the right the right wall if I've already used my punch here. And then the, the corner treasure. Um, probably other things I'm thinking about. You know, all the, all the stuff that affects enemies and items. Time warp. Teleport. Uh, stuff like that. Not not dupe, I guess. I guess yeah. I guess there's two. Okay, here here's yeah here's something because this dupe has been discovered. Shooting at an enemy is instantly much less valuable. Um, because we can't one we can't discover another dupe. So mostly, the treasure possibilities that we're you know the treasure generating possibilities that we are testing for by shooting at an, at an at an enemy are mostly just it's mostly just transform it's norm, normally transform and dupe are the two big things two most helpful things you're you're looking for when you shoot at an enemy or an item there can only be one dupe on the full set of wands right now so um so now it would pretty much just be transform which is not great and also we already have another transform um I don't know how much that changes things. <laughs> Probably not that much, but um, at least a little bit. Um, so, and then, and then also, um, wand refresh. On on the other hand, t you know, test testing by shooting through an enemy, testing for dupes and transforms, has become a lot less valuable because we we know there can only be one dupe. But also, wand refresh testing for that has become much more valuable because we have a dupe to put that that those charges into. If we get extra charges via wand refresh, we can dump them into this dupe or into this transform. Um, so wand, re wand refresh is is what we really want to test for now. Um, now, how many turns do I have to dance around? Like if I want to, uh, if 
I want to, so I, I really want to shoot up into one of these, one of these, either this spot or this spot or this spot at a frog, you know, it would be, it would be great to, to shoot it through this key as well. I, would it be actually because really the extra benefit of shooting through a key when you're already shooting through a frog as well is just a test for grab. Um, well, if it has, if the wand has time warp on it, then we're missing out on a potion, but gaining a key next, next zona probably. So, so that's good, I guess. But the, the downside is we could be, we're also testing for transform. This could transform this key into something else, which we probably don't want. I mean, maybe don't want, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's not a huge deal if that happens, but yeah, I guess, I guess it doesn't feel super, <laughs> doesn't feel super beneficial to, um, to do that. Uh, yeah. And I think, I think the corner bounce, I think the corner bounce does become even better now relative to, relative to the um, corner treasure because, you know, j we have better things to refresh. We have two different wands that would really benefit from repeated refreshes. So if we get a wand refresh plus corner bounce combo, um, which is, is not that, not that common, you know, to get that combo is pretty rare, but it's so good when you get it, <laughs> that it's worth, that it's worth thinking about. Um, but yeah, we have two, two potential, uh, wands to, to infinitely recharge if we get a combo like that, which means there are just more room layouts that will work, that will work for, for in infinitely refreshing a treasure related spell. So yeah, I think I would, I think I would really like to shoot upward from here. So let's, let's see if I can get around this second frog. Like if I punch now, this frog's like, say, you know, could be here uh, with one tick. I move here, frog's here with two ticks. I move here, frog's here with three ticks. I mean, let's just say one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna do one punch, two, three, four. And then I can just step down while it's taking that poison tick. And then I can do one, two, three, four. And it's gonna be a, about to take the poison tick again. And I can, uh, and I can shoot up from there. That That feels pretty good. I might have to end up like walking around it the other way and taking this key, I guess, to minimize the chance that I'll have to take the key. It does feel a little bit better to shoot through the key rather than not shoot through the key. So to minimize the chance that I'm going to have to pick up this key on the way back, I'm going to walk up first and then I'm going to delay killing this frog as long as possible, which maybe could have mattered. I don't, I don't know if this would, <laughs> I don't know if this actually changed. I was thinking this would, this would reduce his likelihood of walking left here, but I don't think that's actually true. <laughs> I don't think that's real. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He, he really did walk left there. Okay. Well, in this case, I don't have to go up all the way into the corner. I can go ahead and start walking down or, or start walking toward the spot that I wanted to go to. Okay. Do I just to save time? To save time, actually, hang on. This this is this changes the timing. If I'm not if I'm not unless I walk back left right now, then the timing of when I get back down here is going to be different. But also, if I walk, because he didn't walk the way I originally calculated it with, um. You know, I was originally considering that he would be here and I would, I would like step out of the corner to here and then be on parity with him. But now what's going to happen is I either step down, you know, I'm, he, he's here, he's here, which is different. And so maybe, you know, I still definitely want to get, get down here, but maybe, I guess even if I, even if I end up having to shoot from this column, 
that's still testing the maybe this is even better because it's testing for earthquake <laughs> um yeah so what how does this look uh one two three four yeah so yeah so it, it, it is bad like i thought like Can I guarantee, I guess, I, I think I do want to step left here. I, I, I'm kind of foreseeing some possibility of him like ending up here while I'm, while I'm down here, either I can get him, get him here and me here. Like I originally planned, or I can get him here while I'm here one turn later. That, that seems accurate. Wow. Um, so yeah, if he had stepped up on either of those turns, I think what I was saying was, <laughs> was right, but, uh, he decided to walk right twice, like a big butthole. Uh, so I, I don't know. I could, I could keep, keep trying for what I was trying for, you know, still get a decent, decent free check by like stepping left and then down. Um, but that's pretty low. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess, I guess mostly I just need him to step up right now if I step left and then I'll get multiple chances as I'm walking down for him to step into my line of fire. So let's hope for that. God, man, <laughs> why does he have to be like that? I mean, I guess we still have another chance. <laughs> So hopefully here he will step up and I will step right and then we'll get multiple chances as I walk down for him to step into the middle column. Is there something better? Is there something better right now? I don't I don't see it. I don't see it if there is. This is annoying. Like yeah. I don't know. Why, man? <laughs> This this is Cinco Pause right now. This is definitely Cinco Pause. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do I even do now? Like, step up and shoot down through him? Maybe. <sighs> Again, shooting enemies is just not great right now. Honestly, I might want to step left and just shoot up. And then maybe I get one more test on him at the end. With this last wand, I get one more test on him when he's about to take the last poison damage. Let's just go with that. Man, this is so bad. This could also explode me right now pretty high chance of exploding me but I don't know I think I can still get this potion and I don't know I'm not scared of being at two health dude <laughs> can this guy <laughs> can this guy step up please um I <laughs> I, I mean I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep dancing Okay. I am going to step right here and hope <laughs> and hope that he steps right as well cuz I if I step down and then if I step down I have to if I step down and then I want to shoot at him I have to shoot at him like this. Um and I'd rather test for the corner bounce I think. Then again, if I step right and he doesn't step right if he steps down then i end up like awkwardly shooting this at a, at the last frog in some way that i don't like that much but that's that's i think i think i can i think that's fine maybe i i might if if i end up on parody with this next frog i can like uh, 
I can just, you know, tank a damage, stand here and shoot upward at him and tank a damage or something. Uh, it does have the possibility of spawning a shrimp, which is really bad. I don't know. Do I step down here? <laughs> I guess I guess this has the this has the here here's another situation where I should be considering the thing that uh the person man told me about. Like shooting shooting this wand up from here is like I was I was right that testing this wand in this corner was correct, but maybe this wand in this corner is better because it it would be refreshing itself if I if I do get a refresh, and in that case I would I would get to test it more. I don't know. Let's let's just go with that. I'm tired of thinking about this. Good lord. <laughs> okay, now please at least let me get this. Oh no, man. <laughs> okay, so I think I think there's only one way to attempt to get this potion and get out i mean i'm there's no reason not to get the potion i'm i'm either i mean i either go out right now and miss out on the one ponto you know i'm, I'm getting the potion mostly for the for the one ponto of picking it up i'm probably going to lose the health by getting punched by this frog but i think there is one small chance of getting this and getting out nope well, maybe there's still a tiny chance. Like if I step left and the frog steps up, then maybe I can go in a, a full square <laughs> while he's just following me around the outside of that square and never stepping back into the middle. But like, come on, what are, what are the odds of that? I guess I guess higher than the odds of whatever was happening with that other frog a minute ago that screwed me over. So maybe the game will pay me back for that. But then again, next frog is coming in like 11 turns from now or something. I'm not I'm not messing with it. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Don't really know that much. Uh, offensively especially I don't don't really know that much. Um Yeah, not not feeling great. What do I know about my forgets? I don't think I've tested any forgets. I think that's I think that's true. So I need to be wary of that. Of that but but that does mean I've tested all my identifies. Uh, I can, I I'm really gonna want to use this here to break that treasure out. Um, I I'm going to want to dupe this key probably. I oh I didn't I didn't refresh myself on on how I used all the wands. Let's let's do that. Let's try to do that right now before I forget even more. But I think I remember. I mean, I shot this I shot this at a lizard down here and at that and at that wall that was there. And then I shot this at the frog. It was on a corpse. And it, it, there was a there was a corner over there. This one I shot at the beginning. There was like one one empty space. There was a shrimp to the side. There's a lizard there. There's a pillar. This one I shot up through. No, I just I just shot up at like nothing, <laughs> uh, right next to me, one one space away from me. This one I shot from I believe this space. There was a frog there about to die, and then I it shot all the way up. Okay, we're good. Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> it's unfortunate because I don't want to shoot either of these wands upward, but I don't want to shoot other wands upward when these are still unused. Because I want to get these wand refresh checks in. I guess this one wand refresh check in. No, these two. This could be. This could have a wand refresh, and that would be huge. I mean, I guess this. This at least moves the door to a slightly better spot and tests tests quite a few things test test a few things on on this lizard it tests for a mirror kill it tests for an x it tests for a lizard kill it 
That's for a gem kill, which honestly I wouldn't complain too much about right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm sure something else, a snipe, uh, test for a thorn here. Yeah, that, that, that has definitely not been tested. This, this gives me a lot of tests since I haven't shot this at an enemy yet. So I feel like it, it also tests for forgetting this door. Which I would accept. Um, although there's there's nothing I especially want to forget right now on my other wands, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. This has a pretty good chance of helping. I need to discover more offensive stuff, and this has the best chance of of giving more giving me more offensive stuff. And I like where it's probably going to move the door. Uh yeah, I think I'm I think I'm probably going to go with that, but let's think about how how everything else is going to look cuz like then the shrimp is off parity with me if I do that. So like if I shoot if I shoot that and then step up twice. Where is where is everything else? This lizard, sorry, this shrimp and or this frog are on me. If I go up this way, but maybe there's a good chance I can like sneak past them up here and get everything, get it so there's only one enemy on me up here somewhere and I can like point blank snipe it if it's the frog. And then like this shrimp from the shrimp that would have followed me like around this way and then got looped back this way, maybe then it would get on me at a nice time. <clears throat> Not sure. It does, it does feel decent though. I wish I could get this charge attack right now. But I am definitely not doing that. Um, all right, man, I really would do want to find out if this has a wand refresh on it because we refresh plus transform is just incredible. But I think think I think it's better to well like this could have a re refresh it could also have corner bounce which would which would give me a lot more possibilities for um you know let let me maybe transform things multiple times in some cases which would be great so maybe I do Maybe I don't actually want to break open the treasure here. Maybe I want to open, you know, after duping the key, uh, get in and grab this treasure the normal way. And then, oh wait, that doesn't test for corner bounce because I wouldn't have broken the wall. Um, hmm. I guess it does test for corner bounce here. When I when I'm breaking the wall, it's testing for corner bounce anyway. Uh, it's also a good forget test if I'm standing there and shooting that to the right. Hmm. For, by the way, for, forgetting I think forgetting something on this wand is pretty good. Uh, because there's a lot of things that uh, that would combo nicely to get to to allow more dupes. Even just a wrap around the screen or through walls can help a lot with a letting you do more things. And of course, a corner bounce is just incredible with dupe. I don't know. This feels like the right first move, but like I guess I guess I should think about what it what it's gonna look like to punch this shrimp first instead. If I punch the shrimp first instead. Like I say, I step left and punch. The lizard will no longer be snipeable, but all the other tests on it still may be possible. I guess not the thorn test that I was thinking about. Um, hmm. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I really am getting a lot of tests just by hitting any target with this with this wand. I guess it's possible that this kills the shrimp through the wall. Didn't consider that. I don't know. This this feels this feels pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna do it. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is starting to feel pretty terrible. Um I guess now is when I do this. I get a decent forget test in. I, I, get, I get this wand tested for refresh and corner bounce. And I mean, we know that it doesn't kill lizards because we shot it at a lizard last time. Uh, but I do want to, I, it is good to test this for refresh. It's, it is really good and it fixes my parody and I don't really want to use any of these other ones right now. I mean, this one I could maybe throw away, but like, I don't want to throw it away. <laughs> I want to get better tests on it. I guess what are the better tests that I'm likely to end up getting on this if I don't throw it away right now? I mean... It's also true that I haven't shot this at a lizard yet, but I have shot it at a at a frog. I guess I haven't it hasn't been tested for explode though. This would be nice if it had explode. It also hasn't been tested for the corner bounce, so maybe it could, you know, go do something to the shrimp also or come around and explode me. But this is not as bad as I was originally thinking. So how how would I be testing this if I what's the best possible test I get on this? in this in the zona I guess it's like I don't know there's no pillar <laughs> I I was thinking it would it would be shooting it at a pillar somehow but I'm I don't I'm not seeing myself making a pillar here in any possible universe because you know I'd have to like break I'd have to like break this wall to, to get a pillar so yeah, I'm not not wasting my transform slash break wall on that. I don't know. This feels right. Let's go. Nice. Mirror kill. Didn't think about that. Okay. Well, so let's just see how the parody works for doing the obvious thing now, which is punch this lizard. Sorry, punch the shrimp. Step left. Snipe point blank snipe this lizard. We know that that works because we know this doesn't have through walls from the previous zona. And then I guess I'm off parity with this shrimp, which is unfortunate. So maybe what I want to do is punch this shrimp and then punch the lizard so that the frog is there and the shrimp is there in all likelihood. Well, sorry. Punch the shrimp. Lizard's going to be on me here. I punch the lizard. I hope that the frog steps up next to the lizard. And man, this is this is getting kind of scary. Like I could die here. Uh no, that's not true. I couldn't die here. I don't think. <laughs> I can always just run the run the frog around and get out. Um but yeah, let's, let's see. Um, yeah. So, so like try to get the lizard down to one health and the frog to like right behind it. That way I can step left and the frog will have a 50% chance of getting farther away from me. And then can I step left again after that? Let's see if I do one, two punches right now, this shrimp's going to probably be there. Oh, this shrimp is definitely moving left. Yeah, I didn't didn't think about that. This shrimp definitely moves left here, so this frog also definitely moves left. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, so one punch, two punch, the shrimp is there. I step left. Hopefully the frog steps away. 
the shrimp is there. So I have, I, I basically just have one chance here of, but I think this is the right thing to do. Let's see. Basically, you know, if, if I were to punch this lizard twice right now, this frog is going to be on me. Definitely. Do I want that actually? <laughs> Cause I could just snipe the frog. Um, and that actually tests for a frog kill in this one space that is at least a possibility. One, two, step, one, two, step. I think it's better to space, to try to space it out. Cause if, if, the, if my spacing strat, if I get the 50, 50, you know, movement order thing that I'm looking for, then the frog will, will step away from me and I can, um, punch down the lizard and shrimp without taking any extra damage. I'll just take this one damage while I'm punching down the lizard and then I'll be able to snipe the frog, probably snipe the frog downward and test for a heal because my health is getting pretty bad. And then I'll still get my dupe and my, and my transform, I, I guess. Let's, okay, so we're hoping the frog steps, the frog moves first here and gets away from me. Unlucky. Um, well, we know this doesn't have an explode, so I think I am still going to, still going to test this, kill the frog by shooting this down. It reveals something on this wand, which is good, and test for a heal, which is good. Also test for a corner bounce, and that's, that's a good spot for it to corner bounce for additional tests if, uh, if it does, if it does. Really not liking this situation right now, <laughs> but I don't see another good option. So that's what we're doing. I guess what if this like builds a wall? Doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, it did have that one. <laughs> did have that one extra possibility that I was thinking about. That's nice. Okay. Um, now. I think because I don't know the parity of, I don't know how my, how my parity will be with the first chase frog. So I think what I want to do for safety is go down and dupe the, I can't do that though. Oh man. Let's try to think about how many turns this has been. I shot from the beginning. How much walking around did I do here? Oh man, I, I can't risk this. Uh. What? I, sorry, what, what I was thinking was go all the way around to here and go ahead and shoot this. Then without picking up these keys, go up here and shoot this to break the wall, but wait, don't shoot this until the frog appears and I know what my parody is <laughs> so that I don't get myself off parody and I can use my, use my punch on him if necessary. I guess, I guess what I have to do is go ahead and, sorry, the, the reason that that doesn't work, man, I'm doing a very poor job of explaining my thought process because I keep getting caught up in continuing to think about it. The reason that doesn't work is because the dupe could just put the other key down here. Maybe I just maybe I just take the chance though. Maybe I just hope that it puts the key up there. But if it puts the key down here, then I can't get out without picking up this key anyway, and I'm going to have to shoot this wand some other way. But actually, you know, maybe that's fine if I have to shoot this wand some other way. Like I was thinking anyway that I would like to test this for a wand refresh and a corner bounce. And, you know, maybe I could test it for another frog kill as well. So it seems, seems maybe good. I, the frog could also just appear before I get the chance to get up here anyway. After going, hmm. Yeah, not, not exactly sure here. We know that these don't have explodes, or at least this doesn't have an explode. This one's not going to hit me if it does. We know this doesn't have an explode. 
Um, what about spawning shrimp? I guess same thing. We we know that. I oh know this this could spawn a shrimp, which would be which would be disastrous unless there's some some rule about no transform and spawn shrimp and maybe transform. No, I think I think spawn shrimp is not going to really care about wand ordering rules. I think with the wand ordering rules, certain things that only happen at us. So the way I think about wand ordering rules, I'm not sure how accurate this is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, explore this on your own if you're trying to figure this out. But um, my the way I the way I conceptualize it is there are some abilities that happen on every square or that try to activate on every square, which is most abilities, like. Every tile that every tile that the ray passes through, it tries to poison something if there's a target for poison. It tries to dupe something if there's if there's a valid dupe target. It tries to um you know, I I I guess I guess maybe snipe. I don't know. It tries to put a thorn. Like most most of the most of the spells are like that. And for those, I feel like the wand ordering rules generally tend to apply. And like the spells those spells tend to always activate from top to bottom in in order on a on a on a given wand but then there are some spells that happen like at a certain point in the cast like they either happen at the very beginning of the cast like build wall um or or like identify and forget or they happen at the very end of a cast like teleport or spawn shrimp and and maybe like the no, I guess the wall directions can happen multiple times. Like this, this refresh can happen can happen once and then bounce around. So maybe that is technically considered one of the. Maybe it's in that previous category, the, the the larger category of just things that try to activate every tile, or maybe it's in a separate category or something. But anyway, um, so I I, I kind of feel like spawn shrimp. What I was saying is I don't think that this transform is going to block spawn shrimp from happening above it because i think spawn shrimp is kind of in its own category of things that just happen at the end of a of a of a cast no matter what the order on the wand is like even if there's a spawn shrimp up there like you might think if you're trying to think about wand ordering rules you might think that spawn shrimp can't be here because if i shoot this it's going to spawn a shrimp and then it's going to transform it immediately i've never seen that happen so it, there must not be a spawn shrimp it must not be possible for spawn shrimp to be up here, but I think I think it just ignores the wand ordering rules in that case. So I I wouldn't I wouldn't expect that. I'm not sure if anyone knows if anyone knows <laughs> anything about this that I don't seem to know. Please please tell me. So yeah, I think considering spawn shrimp here is 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 important because I could end up in a situation where. Well, maybe I can make it so that I will guaranteed be able to punch the frog and then get out before the shrimp gets to me or punch the frog and then like, um, sorry, I was considering more, more bad possibilities. Um, punch the frog and then, and then punch the shrimp and that, then the shrimp will be on the right parity to 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 get punched also man this is this is a little a little bit scary but we got to we got to go for our our extra treasure here so i mean the safest thing to do i guess is just hope that the parody works out go up and break this from here you know if it spawns a shrimp i just get to punch it immediately and then grab this treasure maybe and and then on the way down here grab this treasure on the way down here and then get into position for this and either the frog is is off parity with me in which case i get to shoot this and then get out probably get out with my charge attack also and with getting two keys here or i have to just wait i just have to take this i just have to let this go to waste and in, in all likelihood it could have a supercharge on it which is like the ring that's what i call the, the thing that looks like a ring um <clears throat> and so maybe maybe i get to take another charge of it in the next into the next zona but 
in all likelihood I just it just goes to waste if the parody is bad and if I go with that strat um I don't know I'm not going to calculate the like expected value of, of all these strats but let's let's just think about the other way and see if it feels better so the other way is like I go all the way down here and shoot this hopefully it dupes upward and I can go all the way back around I mean by that point this frog's going to be out but maybe but yeah then in that then in that case if the frog is on good parity with me I can just I can punch him with my charge attack although maybe I want to keep a charge attack into the next Zona if possible, but I guess if if in that case if the frog were off parity with me, I would like get to where the frog's here. This oh man, I was thinking I would get to where the frog's here and I'm here and shoot this one upward, so that the shrimp would be off parity. I could punch then punch the frog and then punch the shrimp, and the parity would work out like that. But it could also this could also have a wrap around and then the shrimp would be on top of me and I would be dead most likely unless the enemy movement worked out nicely but I guess I could just step down twice in that case that would also give me a, ref a transform on the transform on the frog although it could also make my wand stop on the frog which would be annoying because I want to get this test in oh man <laughs> I I don't know for some reason how many how many moves is this to like get down here and then get back out without touching these keys 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 yeah this frog's going to be all over me by the time I get back up here to like use this I, th I think the safe thing to do is to go ahead and break this treasure out and then just hope the parody works. I hope the parody works out. Um, it's, for some reason... I keep thinking that it's better than it is to go down here and, and shoot right because I guess I something makes me feel like I'm not going to have to well does, does this give me a greater chance of getting out with my charge attack I guess like let's say I can get down here shoot shoot this and then get up to this treasure before the frog is on me then maybe I can get out Maybe if the parody is is good, I can get out with um, I can get out with uh, with my charge attack instead of like having I wouldn't have to like punch this frog to get this treasure. I guess I guess going down here. Going down here first at least guarantees that I will get to shoot both of these wands. That's that's a serious benefit that I, for some reason, <laughs> was not considering. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think I do like going down here so that I'll at least get to shoot this at something. I'll at least get to use both wands in this case. In, in the other case, like, maybe the results of, like, the, the spells that I already maybe I'm getting more out of the spells that I already know slightly on average, but it doesn't feel that different. And I'm not getting as many, as much new information on average. I think, I think I want to go for the option that gives me more new information on average, which is, which I'm pretty sure is this. I don't know. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm tired of, tired of thinking about this and not getting any more. I, oh, I did not think about this. I could have forgotten that, which would have maybe been really bad. All right. 
Okay, that's fine. So, where's where this frog at? Okay, so the frog is going to be on parody with me. That's fine. I'll, so I'll, I'll punch him, and then I will test this. I will test this just probably upward from right here. You know, I could also test this for like a, an earthquake or something and, you know, a frog kill. But, no, wait, no, I can't because the parody is bad. I mean, well, I guess I could on the next chase frog. I guess that lets me test for a heal as well. Maybe I do want to do that. Kind of want to heal right now. <laughs> what's What's the bad thing that could happen if I wait and shoot this down at the next chase frog from up here or something? We, we know this can't have an explode. I guess he could have a wraparound shrimp, but that's not a problem. Um, you know, if it has a corner bounce, I don't think that's a problem. Corner bounce plus teleport or something like that. I, I think I'm, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, yeah, go go for a heal instead of going for a wander fresh. I don't know. That just sounds terrible. Go for a heal instead of going for a wander fresh. But it's not just that. It's also testing for a corpse kill that I haven't tested for before and a frog kill that I haven't tested for before. Uh, and I guess a gem kill down here, maybe. <laughs> which, yeah. Okay. Where where are my gems at, man? Do I want to actually? Do I want to transform this chest now? I I I think maybe. Maybe some people would want to transform the chest here after punching this frog down. Um, in, in the vast majority of cases, I will take a chest over a single chance transform because that's 50% going to be something better than a chest, which is a gem or a key. But the other 50% is going to be a, a potion or a book, which is in most cases, much worse than a chest. In this case, it's it's not as bad. In this case, it's um, it would be nice to have a potion, especially, or a book. Um, so I guess maybe I should be considering that. It would be nice to get an artifact right now, also. A, like, a gem isn't just good for the normal reasons right now. It's also good because it could help me survive. Um, and yeah, that... So basically what I'm considering is shooting upward at this chest to transform it and also check for a wand refresh versus checking for a heal and a frog kill and a corpse kill and maybe something else from hitting a frog. I don't think anything else. I am going to go with the wand refresh option, I think. It's also going to reveal the shrimp ability if I if it has that, which is good. Have to punch this frog first. Is there a specific spot that I should be punching the frog? I don't think so. Somehow I still feel like this is going to get me killed in some way that I don't expect. Called that shrimp, and also called that it could appear before the uh, transform. All right, and we got the best possible transform option. We got a we got a gem, which means it's time to start thinking about. Uh, God, this video is really long already again. <laughs> this this has been this has been kind of, in my opinion, a tricky tricky Jogo so far. I haven't. It hasn't been obvious what to do at any point, so so this this one is less long. It's this one is long less because I have had to explain so many things, and more because um, the Jogo has been tricky. And but also, I feel like my my brain is not functioning <laughs> fully right now. Um, okay, uh, this is this is an easy choice to me. Um, Okay, so <laughs> where to where to where to start? Where to start talking about how to how to how to think about your build? 
the the one thing that you always know if you're going for score if you if you're if you're playing for score you know that you're going to get the cape at some point there's no scenario where you turn down the cape um i i, I don't think there is at least um the cape enables you to get probably probably more than 1k like I, I think it increases like you know if let, let's say 4k is possible without without a cape if you play super super well well at least 5k is possible with a cape so it's it's at least like a 1000 ish difference of what what kind of score you can get with or with versus without a cape um so you, so you know you're, you're getting a cape and so you you kind of want to build everything else around that because because the cape is so powerful um and one thing one thing that i don't think most people fully appreciate is how important it is to get to the cape as quickly as possible in zona one so you know your artifact order is going to be random every jogo and it is more you know it, it the, the cape is giving you the most expected value in in zona one compared to later zonas because in later zonas you're going to know more about your wands so you're you're more likely to be able to get close to the treasure caps without um without using artifacts at all and um yeah in in, in zona one you you kind of have to depend on your artifacts if you're if you're trying to get close to the treasure caps so getting and and maybe maybe it's not natural not not easy to like i guess visualize what it looks like when you don't get to cape quickly enough but like it's 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 really usually only a few turns in zona one before you're surrounded by enemies like you you don't have many turns before you you've got enemies on you and you kind of have a problem you have to like start start fighting and if you start fighting and killing those enemies that's potential cape fodder that's going down the drain that you're you're wasting that potential cape fodder by killing those enemies at those enemies some other way so um so yeah you 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 want to highly value one thing you want to highly value about artifacts is anything that helps you with ordering helps you with with wand ordering in a way that increases the chance of you getting to your cape earlier at the beginning of a jogo and for that on that on that point for that for that factor both of these both of these uh, artifacts are are very good um, both the orb and the arm have the swap upgrade available so if one of these appears first you can instantly swap to the cape um or to anything else which sometimes in some rare scenarios you might want to swap to something else but in most cases you'll want to just swap to the cape and um so yeah they're they're both very good on that point so really we're just thinking about these artifacts themselves for the most part we're thinking um you know how 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 good are these how good are these artifacts and their upgrades on their own and to me to me the option the the answer is clearly the arm the arm i think pretty much all of its upgrades are good maybe all of its upgrades are are good um the orb the orb i i find kind of awkward to use for score it's the the best thing about it is the wand refresh you can you know let's say you have a buried treasure wand you can shoot that shoot that treasure you know shoot that wand and get that treasure and then swap with an enemy just to get just to spend a gem to get that refresh um to get that refresh guaranteed on the buried treasure wand um because it the charge the wand charge from from that that upgrade on orb it goes it randomly goes to any wand that can carry an extra charge so unless you have another wand that has super charge on it um it's going to guaranteed go to that one wand that you've used already which was your treasure wand um and then you know and in some cases it's just crazy good like if you have a if you have a dupe plus supercharge combo um 
then you don't even have to use you can just start swapping with stuff without using any of your wands while all your wands are charged and guarantee that it goes to um that and you can just kind of stock up <laughs> you just kind of stock up dupe charges like that um of course the cape also has that upgrade and you're going to want that upgrade on the cape unless it's offered against something against one of the two up one of the two like mandatory upgrades on the cape you are going to want that upgrade on the cape for basically the same reasons um but yeah the the main the thing about orb is it has it has the same upgrade as the cape where you can spend gems to use it over and over again to use it without discarding it and that just means it's kind of com competing with cape uh for your gems and it's just not as good it's not you're in pretty much any case you can get more for each gem by putting those gems into the cape rather than into the orb so so yeah not not great um you know it, it can be okay just to just to use it once not not you know to turn if you turn down the the gem upgrade um and just use it as a single use artifact like normal uh you can you can sometimes get like a pillar of treasure out of it you can get a nice uh extra charge you know you, you definitely get some survivability out of it but you you're, you're not really fo you shouldn't really be focused on survivability that much if you're playing for score you you should be able to um survive without without building too much specifically for survivability uh and unless the enemies just get really bad and if if the enemy if the enemy upgrades are really bad then it wasn't going to be a great score run anyway um so yeah but the the arm on the other hand the arm fulfills kind of the other the other most important factor or one of the other most important factors of uh of a good build which is it's it's netting you a lot of keys it is um i mean if you get the key upgrade on it then it's it's basically getting you two keys it's, it's getting you two-fifths of the way to your next secret room um just by just just by using it once and that is amazing and then <laughs> and then on top of that like you can get more value out of it you can get like a the x2 on it to get twice as many twice as many pontos from it you can get the the gem upgrade which i i i tend to think i don't know i'll, I'll talk about how my upgrade priority when that becomes relevant but um yeah i think i think all of the upgrades are are pretty good on this one the the uh you get extra heal from from a potion i can't actually remember right now if you get a full heal or if you just get one extra heal or like one extra health huh i don't know it's been a while since i got that one but uh you know you can identify a full wand from grabbing a book which is very powerful um in you know in certain situations and uh yeah i don't know there's other stuff that i'm forgetting but i i think this is clearly better on average feel free to argue with me about this if you want <laughs> but uh this this is a, a good start to a build in my opinion and uh we're on our way we might be able to get to five keys in the next room with this plus this maybe if we can dupe the key if the key is in a spot that that uh, we'll be able to dupe it that'll be good and then we'll so so we need to start thinking about um need to start thinking about which wall which walls we need to um check for the secret exit which i'll talk about in a second but first let me remind myself how i used everything first thing i did was shoot this wand up at a at a lizard and it once again did nothing we really need to figure out what's going on with this wand but then i shot this wand up at a lizard got a mirror kill did, did this get discovered by a book or something because i'm where was there a book there, there must have been a oh no i shot this from there oh yeah i did shoot this from there okay yeah 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 shot this up at a lizard and both of these i think would have hit a shrimp through a wall if it could have if it could have damaged through walls and then 
use this just on a key, use this up here, use this down here and got the frog. Okay, a, a lot of treasure possibilities still have not been tested, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> like, <laughs> we're dying here. Uh, parody with these nearby enemies not looking, not looking great. It's nice that I can heal by grabbing this potion, but not nice. I mean, maybe I step right and see if this lizard steps away. I'd like to be able to... You know, it would be great if I could step right, punch the shrimp, this lizard gets spaced out, and then grab this. So that's one, punch, three. So then this ghost is on me, I step backwards. Maybe like, then maybe I can like shoot at the ghost and the lizard with this, get my charge attack, get a kill on the other lizard, punch the ghost down, the lizard steps away. I don't know. It's not amazing, but I don't have a better idea right now. So let's see. I guess I could try to get out of this corner and get somewhere else. So what would that look like? One, two, one, two. So I'm on parity with this this ghost. I can, if I go one, two, I, I, guess, I guess even here I might get stuck. If this lizard ends up, it's pretty likely that this lizard ends up there blocking blocking me from pushing that ghost, but then I could at least punch the ghost, but I would be then be dead to the shrimp. So that feels pretty terrible. Um, oh, let's, let's, <laughs> this is often, this is something that I often forget to do. As soon as you walk into a room, if, if you, if there's any chance that you're going to be looking for the secret room from here, you want to take note of where the entrance and exit are because the secret room cannot appear on the same wall as the entrance or the initial location of the exit. If you move the exit, then it can be on that wall, but it can't be on the wall that the, that the exit is initially on. So right now in this room, the secret room could be, the secret room has 10 possible spots here, 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 and here. I'm pretty sure it can be in the treasure spot. Could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. I don't know. I'm just kind of second guessing myself on that. Um, I always check for it though. So maybe, maybe I can uh, make some gains if someone tells me that that is not actually the case, that it can't be there. Um, so yeah, the problem with stepping right right now is I mean it could just be over if I step right like these these two ones cannot kill a lizard this cannot kill a lizard we know so how am I killing this lizard if it just follows the shrimp so if I step right and the lizard follows the shrimp and then I step left and the lizard follows the shrimp again I'm probably just dead like I can I can like shoot this or this and hope that it has a shrimp heal, but that's, that's about it. And even then I might end up dead. <laughs> uh, I could go ahead and grab this first and then, man, I don't even have a way of like using my door to get out of here because I don't have a teleport and I'm already too surrounded. Um, man, I don't want to lose this run. This is, a, I, I'm, I like the artifact choice so far. Oh, oh man. Something, something I should, I should go ahead and say about, uh, about build is that it is important to remember which artifacts you've turned down. Um, cause that's, that's information. Um, <laughs> that's that's information that the game does not remember for you. Uh, well, it will not remind you about that, but you can use that to your advantage because um, 
let's say you let's say you're you you get three artifacts you get your first three artifacts and you get to the you get to the fourth decision well by that point you know when it sh- when it shows you that fourth decision for your fourth art for your fourth artifact you then know what the fifth decision is going to be as well if you remembered all the things you've turned down so you can you might make a different you might want to make a different decision if you remember what the fifth one is going to be you know if you remember what possibilities are left that what it's going to offer you for the fifth one you can basically choose your fourth and fifth at the same time which will let you maybe get a better a better set of a better complete set of artifacts whereas if you ch- if you just chose each one based on the individual pairing that you were that you're looking at in the moment you might not choose something you might not end up with quite as good of a complete build and yeah it can inform your earlier choices as well like the fact that i've already torn- turned down the orb might make me a little bit more likely to choose like the lamp i mean usually i'm going to choose the lamp anyway i think the lamp is really good but because the lamp because i know i'm not getting an orb i'm i want the, the lamp becomes more valuable because it 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 gives me ordering you know it it helps with it helps with wand ordering or sorry artifact ordering to it helps me get to the cape more quickly by when i get when i get the penultimate upgrade on the on the lamp uh you know so my, because i know i'm not getting the orb i know that other artifacts that i'm going to get are not going to help me with ordering that much so i should probably be extra i should value the the lamp extra because it, it does help with that i feel like i could have explained that a lot better but anyway <laughs> yeah so it's so you know maybe you know take screenshots of uh of all your upgrades that you're all the, all the artifacts you're being offered if you're if you're gonna have trouble remembering usually i don't have trouble remembering that um so i don't do that but yeah okay i'm I'm starting to think about just shooting here because let's say i shoot this puts the door in a really bad spot however it tests for a side hit it tests for a side hit that hasn't been tested for and then it lets me grab this before i punch the shrimp it also tests for a corner treasure that hasn't been tested or wait yeah, it tests for a corner treasure that hasn't been tested for, which is not nothing, although mainly right now I'm concerned about getting out of this alive. And I'm not probably... I'm currently worried I'm not even going to make it to that corner. But um, let's see. I just started thinking like what if I step right and then punch and then like shoot this back this way to break this wall? <laughs> Am I insane? Uh Yeah, so I, I could shoot one of these I guess I could like go ahead and use this while there's not an enemy there and it might kill the shrimp to the side, right? How did this dupe in the first place? Yeah, it might it might kill the shrimp to the side. And then that would let me very easily use my... It, it would work out nicely to use that charge attack on this lizard. And then, and then I would still have another charge attack to you. Although, I'm probably going to want to use this on the lizard to get the other lizard kill. And then that'll give me a charge attack to use on the lizard. So if, if I do the thing where I step right and then just kind of hope that the lizard steps back, it's going to have two chances to step back. I'll step right and then step left. If it doesn't, if it doesn't immediately step up here, I'll step back left and give it another chance to do that. And then I, then I punch. So that's one, two, three. The ghost is there at that point. I think I kind of have to use that turn to grab the potion and then I have to like shoot the ghost. Oh man, I'm going to, I'm going to end up praying for like a, I'm going to end up praying for like a ghost, a ghost, you know, turn the ghost into my friend spell 
or something. That just seems terrible. I don't know. If I recall correctly, hit to the sides is the most common spell in the game. So I'm kind of tempted to do this. Also, I don't want to get in a crappy corner next Zona, though, with this door being put there. <coughs> oh, man. <laughs> these these are the types of games that I... um that I take the longest on in general <laughs> uh, the ones the ones where I'm I get to low health pretty early and I'm kind of kind of stuck at low health uh, for a long time but often I end up surviving them somehow <laughs> but uh, I'm not not too confident right now so let's let's say I did this right now what would that look like shrimp one space away from me I feel like I have to take that and then punch the shrimp I get another chance on a side hit on that ghost. Wait. One, two, three, punch the shrimp. So the lizard's going to be one, two, or like one, two, three. The lizard's going to be there. So I'd, I'd be testing like another side hit on that lizard. I wouldn't be testing. I guess that's where I would want to use this. Oh, there I can, I can get that. And then use that on this ghost and then I think this actually works I don't know <laughs> I don't I don't want to spend any more time on this so I'm, I'm I am ready to die if if that is uh if that is my fate but I think this is going to work out if I'm if I'm thinking through it correctly uh even if I don't discover anything new and helpful but maybe I'll discover something new and hurtful Let's see. Uh, was this right? Is this what I wanted to do? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got that, and we got our we got our treasure there. That's interesting. Um. Although the that 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 made it so that the lizard came this way, is that good? I think so. I think I grab this and then I shoot and I. You know, get, get both lizards killed here. This is also going to test for a grab, which which I don't think has been tested for. Um, not totally clear how I'm going to kill this, kill this ghost, but maybe I'll figure it out. I don't really see another option right now other than, other than this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, wait, I think this works out nicely. So... Frog and Ghost are going to be on the same parody. I guess what I'm hoping for, I guess I'm going to do some dancing around until I get just the ghost on me. Or, yeah, until I, I don't know. I could try to get just the ghost on me and then like walk it into a corner without the frog getting back on me and then use the snipe on the frog. Um, I, I don't know what else I would do right now other than punch this lizard, so I might as well do that. And I th don't know what I'm doing right now other than stepping, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Maybe I can just kill the ghost right here bef without the frog. Okay, yeah, he went the way I wanted him to. Okay, this is great. I think I can step up, step down, and get a few chances to get a few chances for the ghost to go into this corner, and then I'll kill him. With, without the frog being on me and then I can shoot the frog and hopefully identify something good at the same time okay there was there was in fact a good a good solution here okay do I want to I think I think moving right here is better because if I if I move right I might be able to just like well, I don't know. I want to end up. I want to end up back over here to shoot this through the middle to the right to dupe. While also, I guess, I guess maybe. 
I guess maybe what I want is to step right because that gives the possibility of this ghost going into this corner immediately and the frog moving back this way. Which means then I can, after I punch the ghost, I can go back up this way and shoot this to the right through the middle and test for an earthquake while the frog is still on the screen. And maybe if the parody works out, I think I think it will. It, then I, it'll also test for like a hit through the wall here. So that that seems really good. Okay, so let's let's now think about about this 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 worst case scenario, which I hadn't considered. Um, I mean, I can still try to make the same thing happen by stepping right here and then stepping left and hoping the ghost goes back this way. Then the frog will start to start to run around behind me, you know, loop around this way. Uh, but also what could happen is the ghost could go back up again. If I move right and then left, ghost could go back up again. And in that case, I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? I just... I guess it could be the end of the world. Hmm. Like it could be, it's bad if the ghost goes that way. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to walk onto that key before duping it. Oh, uh, maybe I, maybe I misplayed here because of the possibility of ending up having to, having to step onto that key. If I step if I step up now, I get two chances or three chances. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I get two chances to, to make the ghost go up before this frog is on me. And if it goes up, I can go up and punch it and then just shoot down at the frog while identifying this top spell here. Or I don't know, maybe I don't have time to do that. Man, I really want to get back around to... I'm, I'm also like missing out on... <sighs> I'm missing out on dupe opportunities right now. Maybe what I should have been doing or should be thinking about doing here is using the snipe on this ghost and then killing, killing the frog I bet there was a place where I could have and should have killed the sniped the ghost and then set up to kill the duped this while killing the frog with the and then killed the frog with the lightning and then I would have had time to check a few of these walls before the before the chase frog arrived. I think that's probably what I should have done. I don't know though. I felt good about the 50% chance of, of a really good outcome over here that would let me like maybe take the charge attack into the next the next zona. Um, okay, but let's see if I step right here. If I step right here, I do I do I again get two chances? Let's see. Step right and then left. Right and then left. One, two, three, four. No. Wait. <laughs> no, I don't I don't want that. Well <laughs> now I'm thinking like, okay, what if I end up with the frog on me and I like have to snipe it? There's not a way to kill the frog and snipe the ghost is there <laughs> like maybe there's a way maybe maybe i can get the ghost into this corner and then like back up ghost on in this corner frog on me no that's not going to happen because when the ghost is here the frog is going to start walking this way i don't know it's time to do something let's let's do this Let's, I guess, hope that the ghost moves up here. And then I'm probably going to forego the charge attack. We know that this doesn't have forget, so I don't have to worry about that. Forgo the charge attack, get my two keys here, 
check the few easy spots, maybe like transform this frog. I don't know. How else could I use this? How else could I test this? It's been tested for refresh now. It hasn't been tested for heal, but I'm not probably not going to have time to test for heal and kill the shrimp that's going to spawn. I don't know. But moving... I guess if I move left here and then left again... <laughs> this is silly. This, this next frog is going to be coming pretty soon. If I move left here and then left again, there is a chance... I think it's only a 25% chance, but there is a chance that this frog steps ends up here and this ghost ends up here and I get the double kill. Although I don't identify anything, but seems worth probably. But then I might have the chase frog literally on top of me and... I don't think so though. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to try this because I think if, if it doesn't happen, I mean... The worst thing that's going to happen here, well, I guess the worst thing that's going to happen is I have to shoot at the frog. I have to use this wand on the frog, and then the ghost is going to be on bad parity with me, and like I have to either transform it or dupe it. That seems really bad. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to step up. Okay. Okay, at least that... At least that worked out. So I definitely want to do that. And then I think I want to step up and identify. Step up to get this extra identify. Uh, mm, I don't know. I guess one thing that I didn't mention last episode. Identifies definitely do become less valuable as the, as the Jogo goes on. It's like maybe these two extra turns are more valuable than than this identify here, especially because there's not that much super valuable stuff that could be on this one. But I don't know if there's something offensive, something useful, useful for offense. I really want to know about that because my offense is not great right now. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. But part of it involves this, which is on the same wand as, as a dupe. So I can't exactly use that freely. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I, I, th I still think the information is more valuable, even though I'm a bit pressured for time. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Can I, can I do something creative here? I mean, I, I, I don't want to use. I don't want to use, I, I know I don't have time to loop all the way back around here and get my charge attack for the chase frog. That would be ideal. That would give me enough time to check all these walls after getting my, after getting my two keys. Well, maybe not all of them, but most of them, more of them certainly. But, um, yeah, so, so maybe I'm going to want to, I think no matter what, I'm going to want to stand here and dupe to the left. I might get, I might get stuck, but worst case, I just punch this shrimp and then loop the frog around somewhere. Um, is there something else I could do? I mean, I think this could still have a go through walls actually. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to go for that, but, um, you know, I'm just trying to think like, can I somehow earthquake the frog and earthquake the frog and transform it? Like, okay, maybe, maybe if I get the frog to come around this way and I'm standing like here and it's there, then I can, I can have a chance at, at killing it. But is that even giving me any value? Like what, what, <laughs> I guess the only value I get out of that is if there's a chicken kill here and it turns into a chicken, which is very, very slim odds. Um, I mean, or maybe, maybe, I guess I could have a lizard kill here. We've shot this at a lizard, but it was a lizard at the beginning of the cast, not after the transform. Because of the wand ordering, I think, I think we would not have discovered if there was a lizard kill here. Um, I 
I don't know. I am not seeing anything super great. So I'm going to do what needs to be done, which is this. Okay, I didn't get stuck. That's something. Now, <clears throat> I feel like the frog is appearing any any turn now. I feel like I might as well shoot this at him if I can set it up the way I'm thinking. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I think I can, yeah. I think I can still guarantee that I can make him walk around the way that I want him to. I guess this can't have a loop around, right? This can't have a loop around... Uh, wrap around the screen. What else? What else could screw me here? I don't think anything. I think it's pretty safe. Yeah, I, I, I guess really the value I'm hoping to get out of this is just the frog ties. I, I I thought about this, but for some reason didn't say it, and then kind of forgot <laughs> forgot that I thought about it. Uh, yeah, so maybe the earthquake plus the transform just kills the frog, and then I have more time to check walls. Oh, that is unfortunate. Parody didn't work out right. I, need, I needed him to be two spaces away for this to work. Or maybe, maybe I just needed to, to space him out more. Hang on. <laughs> if he had been here, here, he still would have followed me the same way around, right? Or no? I was I was I was worried that he would try to go the other way around. Like yeah, if, if he were here right now and I stepped to here, he would have equal he would be equidistant from me in both these directions, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that, that wouldn't have that wouldn't have guaranteed worked. Um I mean, I guess it, I guess there is still a chance that that he dies here. He turns into either a shrimp or a ghost, and in both cases, um, in both cases, I have some time to run around. Let's count the turns, by the way, so that we don't get screwed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Well. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, we have time to check these top three spots at least. Okay, we're in a slightly better position than we were <laughs> uh, going into zone of three. We're at almost two hours in this <laughs> in this video. Uh, let's, let's keep it rolling. Okay, we no longer care about duping keys. And in fact, if we could break open the treasure, we might want to transform the key into something else. But right now we cannot. We don't have a way of breaking open the treasure. Um, don't don't have line of sight on the on the wall, which is very bad. Because like half of my half of my offense is these two things. Uh, I would really like to be able to hit both a lizard and a frog with the mirror, but that doesn't seem doesn't seem realistic. Also, don't have line of sight of the middle of the room. Again, we're seeing how bad it is for we we are currently seeing how bad it is for the uh, exit to be in a corner, because then the entrance to the next room is in a corner, and you are unlikely to have a good shot on the center possible. Um, but we were, what, what can you do? We were extremely limited. <laughs> our possibilities, our options were limited by the fact that we were at one health. Now, this cannot have a frog kill. This could have a frog kill. This definitely has a frog kill. <laughs> uh... Maybe there's a way that we're going to be able to kill a frog and a lizard behind it or something. Frog and another frog behind it, something like that. I'm starting to feel like I might have to waste this treasure, like step right and shoot this upward. Decent spot for the door. Gets two damage in. Hits a ghost maybe if the ghost walks this way, which would be nice. It's all, it, is, it is more likely that it will go that way. 
Um, yeah, this could do something to a ghost that that could help. Um, what else? What else could be on this wand? We've shot it at the frog. We've shot it up into a corner. <clears throat> we have shot it at a lizard. We have we have we have hit had given it a chance to hit something through a wall. It could have heal. It could get us stuck on the left. Wait, how did I, how did I shoot it last? Oh yeah, I shot it. Yeah, just threw a lizard again and it had a at a, at a right, right corner here. That didn't give me any new tests, I don't think. Yeah, so it could it could have slingshot, which would help us here. Um, it could have chicken kill. It could have thorns. I think yeah, it could have thorns. <sighs> Could it have forget? No, it couldn't have forget. I think we know. We, I think we would know all our forgets, or I guess we wouldn't know if this had forget. This is so gross. <laughs> okay, let's try to think about how we would get this lined up to kill two enemies with just the with just this, ideally while identifying a spell here. The problem with that is then we're maybe wasting the mirror. I guess maybe. Maybe since we want to do this 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 combo, this double hit, double kill here, maybe we want to use the mirror immediately, like step right and shoot this shoot this up to kill one of the lizards. Then a frog will be on me. Okay, let's I, let's say I step I step right. I shoot this up. This lizard definitely dies, right? It also gets a test in for hitting to the side, which we haven't tested. I'm pretty sure. Um, and it gets maybe a, t a test on the ghost. And that's it, I think. Or if it doesn't get a test on the ghost, it gets a test for thorns at least. So that's nice. But um, yeah, okay. Let's think about where the enemies are going to end up. This lizard dies, so this frog... <sighs> it's it's <clears throat> unknown. Unknown where this frog is going to end up because it could step up or down here. But I guess let's assume it steps left, or let's let's say it steps left. Then when I shoot, when I when I step right, this frog steps left. When I shoot, this frog steps left again. That is guaranteed. And then I think it is guaranteed that I can get my double kill here, even without. I don't even need the snipe. It's just killing two frogs. So that would be nice. On the other hand, if the frog steps down here, I I step right. This frog steps down. I shoot this up. The frog steps back up. I guess I can step right and just try to <laughs> just hope that this this frog steps this way and then I can go back this way and end up with the frog in the same position. Although no. That's making it no, 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 that's that's unlikely to work. Because the other frog is going to be right behind it, and so it's it's again probably going to. I th I I think I want to step here regardless, so I think I can go ahead and see what this frog does, because that it's pretty solved if he steps left here, I think. I d I'm I really I really don't know what I what else I would would do if I were to, if I wasn't going to take a step here. What what why would I ever not take a step here? <laughs> Nice. Okay. I, okay. This this feels really good to me. I'm not gonna bother rechecking it or anything. I'm hitting the ghost, which is, I think, better than checking for thorns. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That threw a very surprising wrench into my plan. Okay. <laughs> um. Well. I think. So this is something that's a bit weird. Um, I generally try to avoid, you know, later later in run, later in a run when when you have the cape, you kind of want to avoid getting this spell in most cases, because you can't you can't cape your friends. <laughs> You're trying to cape everything, and you can't cape your friends. So it's very so I I don't I'm not as familiar with the details of 
of how this uh how friends work than you might think i am because um you know later in the run i pretty much never see it uh, or at least very rarely see it so i'm not entirely sure what happens here if i take a step let's say i take a step to the right i think oh man I, I knew at least a little bit more about this at some point but like what's what's even the order that things happen i guess i guess the other enemies go first right yeah, okay okay the other the other enemies yeah so let's let's say enemies and friends the enemies move i move and then the enemies move and then the friends move because i know that if this lizard were not here this frog would definitely move left and take a hit so that means that means enemies definitely move before friends so but in this case i'm not sure if like maybe this frog moves first i guess it i guess this frog could move first S someone please tell me if I, <laughs> please tell me what the what the actual truth of the matter here is here because i'm probably going to get this wrong at least partially but i'm guessing this frog can move here first and then if this frog moves before this lizard it will move here and then the lizard will push this push this ghost to either here or here the ghost will go to one of those spots but if the lizard moves first and pushes the ghost then i'm guessing it could go down and the frog could kill it or it could push the ghost one of these ways and then the frog would no longer have a path to it and this frog would try to come back to me so it would move it would move left if this frog is here or maybe down otherwise huh this is interesting <laughs> um very surprising wrench in my plans <laughs> okay um yeah i just i just wasn't it didn't it didn't feel to me like this ghost was even closer to me than wait why why did why did the frog move up here because i guess what happened is i transformed the ghost and at that point at the point that i transformed the ghost the frog was closer to me than it was to the ghost right it was here so one two spaces away from being in melee range of me and it was one two three away from being in melee range of the ghost so that means the ghost must have moved before the frog in this case so that because otherwise the frog would have moved toward me right maybe i'm just not thinking back to what things looked like maybe i'm not correctly remembering what everything looked like oh i understand what happened the, the right 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 okay i transformed the ghost and then this lizard moved before this frog and so the ghost didn't do its normal move the ghost did its it's getting pushed by an by an enemy move <laughs> good lord okay um <laughs> so yeah the, the this lizard because this lizard moved before this frog and it happened to push the ghost toward the one out of three directions that it moved closer to this frog this frog moved away from me so that was such that was such a small chance of that happening man <laughs> why why did that have to happen okay um that's hilarious so what am i doing here I could stepping right feels better because I'm not just putting myself in a corner, but it doesn't feel great. So what are we thinking? We're thinking this, this lizard might end up chasing this ghost around here. 
but like if I step right and then step left, this I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing anything good happening with this frog. I guess maybe if I step right in this, then this frog is here and this frog is here, then maybe, then maybe I can step left and get them lined up. That's one good possibility, but that's pretty slim, right? I mean, I'm not seeing anything else right now. And I don't, I don't like what happens when I, I don't like how it's going to look if I step left and then use my shot or just use my shot from here. Well, we know that this lizard is pushing this ghost no matter what, right? So this lizard is not going to be like down here. I'm pretty confident this lizard is, is pushing this ghost. So like, maybe I do just do this immediately and then... This frog is either going to be like here, here, or here, or it punches. If the frog punches, then maybe I can just like get my charge attack. Maybe I can figure out how to get up here and get my, get my charge attack while also duping this. And I don't think this has been tested for corner bounce yet. So maybe duping it multiple times. And... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What 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 happens if this frog like moves down the, or let's say the frog punches. On this turn the frog punches. Well, that's a, that's actually pretty slim though. That's only a 1 in 3 chance that it 1 in It only punches if the lizard moves first and it pushes the ghost down. So it would have to be another like 1 in 6, I think. So maybe not worth considering that. Let's let's consider like what if the frog moves down. So like the lizard moves, or let's consider if the frog moves left and then, and then I step left and it doesn't go. There's too many possibilities to consider. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel super valuable. This episode is already so long and it it's, there's, there's so many things to consider. Let's, but it's it's just it feels very close in my head as to which which option is better shooting this right now or stepping right i feel like stepping right could turn out super nicely but maybe could also turn out super badly it also does give me an identify though it i don't know this doing this now at least like pretty much guarantees that I can get my charge attack. Like I'm, pr I'm probably going to be able to probably going to be able to get my charge attack if I with, without duping an enemy. I think I should probably focus on survival here. I think I should I think I should try to get out of this alive. This could also kill the second enemy maybe. Does that screw things up with the ghost movement and stuff cuz the lizard will be dead? Will be dead. I guess that makes things better for me. Let's try this. Um, yeah, not, not great. Not great. Um, I guess one possibility is that this this dupe wand has protect on it. That sure would be nice. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. This has been shot at a frog. I shooting this at a frog is not going to give me anything any good results. Um I guess do I want to step right right now and go ahead and get this key 
and check another check another spot. By the way, we're we're looking top and bottom here for the secret secret exit. I guess if I step I guess if I step right here, then the frog could end up on my right and I won't be able to like get my charge attack and take a damage without duping the frog. Uh, if I step up right now, I can at least guarantee, I can guarantee that I can at least take a damage and, and get out or, and, and get my charge attack. I, I feel like it's going to work out. Okay. I'm, well, I, I guess I'm a little bit concerned about parody with parody with the lizard since like this, this shrimp getting spawned kind of limits my no, I, I think it'll work out fine. I, I don't know. I, I don't see a, a way to survive and and also use my dupe or have two health or survive with two health. So I'm going to do what feels safe here. Hopefully I just get a protect here. Nice. Nice. Okay, so... Lizard is going to be on parody with me okay there's nothing here that i want to transform so i'm thinking that i use the that i use this wand to just fix my parody with the lizard so that i can shoot this into a corner and also damage the lizard at the same at the same time but i have to really think about where the shrimp is going to be so that i don't take damage from the shrimp afterward so Let's say I let's say I just punch this frog. I step down. The lizard could be in my path, in my shot there, actually. 50% chance the lizard's in my shot after doing that. Do I want to go for that? Mm. I mean I don't know. <laughs> um, surely I punched this frog though, right? And what, what, what else would I do? I, I transform this frog? Transforming this frog. Maybe I like shoot this at the frog no this has been shot at a frog right no this hasn't been shot at a frog maybe i want to <laughs> maybe i want to do a risky point blank shot with this at a frog that i mean it could also have a protect on it but it wouldn't even help me that much if it did i would still have to waste my charge attack um i don't know kind of kind of awkward i wish i could like get to the center square more easily I, I guess maybe I so let, let's let's just think again like let's say I punch <laughs> I punch this frog oh maybe I can no no Sorry, I'm thinking about a lot of possibilities, but it would ex it would take too long to explain everything I'm thinking. But I guess I should I guess I should be explaining everything I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm just thinking like, can I? How is the parody going to work out if I like punch this frog and then I like move right? In that case, the lizard the lizard could move left or down. Um, if it moved left in that case. I could maybe get a shrimp past it and then get a kill on it over here while getting the, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and punch this frog just to make the thinking easier now. Okay. So, so now what do I want to do now? I could, I could risk transforming the lizard, but the bad thing about that is 
it's 50 50 you know it could could just die you know if i if i transform it while also um earthquaking it could just die and it could maybe discover a kill frog or definitely it could discover a kill chicken after transforming so I guess greater than 50% chance that it kills it. And uh, I guess there's a chance that it protects me as well. But also a chance I just <laughs> I just take damage and end up with a frog on me and don't get to use this treasure. Uh, if I step left here, I'm probably just going to end up taking damage. Like... I guess I step left here. No, I, I, I want, okay. I want, what I want is to get into a spot where I can, um, oh, my brain is so tired from <laughs> playing this for two and a half hours. Okay. Get in a spot where I can get the treasure, hit the lizard with this punch, then punch the lizard and then punch the shrimp. So is that possible? If I shoot this here, it will get the lizard on the right parity to um, to come at me to come at me this direction guaranteed, and the shrimp will be on parity so I can punch it now. Which means oh, I think this just works. I don't know. Sick of thinking about it. Hopefully this chase frog doesn't appear too soon. Okay. Now, I think since the chase frog is going, since I'm expecting it to appear kind of soon, I want to stay here. And since I don't have a wand to kill a turn, I want to stay here to make sure I get on parity with it. Okay, it wasn't quite as soon as I thought, so maybe I should have gone over here and checked one or two spaces first, or checked this. Oh wait, yeah, this it's the bottom and top that I care about. Um, okay, so I've checked this. So I guess I guess now I'm just now I'm just getting the <laughs> just getting the last three spots checked, which is not great. Okay, no no secrets. Um, I'm I'm kind of happy with how that went, though. All things considered, I think we did end up doing the right thing. Um, hard to imagine why I would not do this immediately. <laughs> um. And then I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to transform this book. Maybe, maybe I can like get this and then break. Oh, no, no, no. I think I'm going to want to get this, get this treasure right here. So that if it's, if it's also something that I want to transform, I can transform it and the book at the same time. Um, This, this, this Jogo seems pretty straightforward, right? Although... I can't, I'm not going to be able to dupe anything if I put stuff up there. No, I, d I don't want to put this other treasure up there. I want to put it, I, no, I, I'll, I'll dupe the chicken treasure. I feel like I can commit to duping the chicken treasure. Um, so I, th I think I want to get my, get my frogs killed here and then get the, get the charge attack to kill the chicken. Should be able to just punch the shrimp. Might might have to do something weird to punch to kill the lizard. It's it's this seems pretty solved to me. I, I'm trying to figure out if there's just a way to get more treasure by like breaking walls in a certain way so that I can like dupe this after transforming it or something. Like maybe if I like is it more valuable to break this wall so that I can dupe whatever this turns into or is it more valuable to get a transform for these two things maybe just this one um well this is going to turn into this could turn into a key which would just be kind of a waste of a dupe but the other possibilities well no the, the the good possibilities are gem and chest. So it's like a 50% possibility that I really want to use the dupe on this. Whereas it's guaranteed that I... Wait. 
no, if I'm, I'm stupid. If I'm using the break wall here, I'm not transforming this. If I'm using the break wall here, I'm duping a book and I don't really want to do that. So yeah, I think I'd rather dupe the chicken treasure. Um, I'm trying to think like, could there be anything else on like, has this been tested in a corner? Has this been tested on a pillar? Pro this probably hasn't been tested for buried treasure, but I, I, maybe, maybe it'll get a buried treasure test right here when I'm getting my, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're testing for buried treasure right, right now when I, uh, when I get my charge attack and it'll, and then the, that buried treasure would be lined up with, um, lined up with the chicken treasure that's about to drop. I feel like this is good. I, I mean, I'm, I'm using this for the charge attack, no matter what I need to kill this chicken. I, I want to guarantee it. Just give me, give me a buried treasure. No. Okay. This seems, I hope this lizard steps left one of these two turns and that'll just instantly solve everything. But I think this is pretty good, man. Another book. Not great. Um, Hope he, hope he steps left, although probably fine if he doesn't. Well, I'm a little bit worried about, about Chase Frog. And I definitely want to check both the top and bottom here. Oh God, imagine if I find the secret room. This is going to be a three-hour video. Um, should I... <laughs> I'm wondering if I should 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 cast this right now. Then I would like do this, put the treasure, put this treasure right here, and then maybe get to punch the lizard. But like, eh, I don't think that's good. I think I'm just gonna do this. Okay, nice. We got we got lucky, so it was a non-issue. Um. I guess one last check, like, I guess maybe I want to use this. I don't think it works out though. I guess maybe I wanted to use this here to like, cause I'm not going to be able to transform these things after I dupe them. Cause I need to get out of here. Uh, and yeah. Man, I don't, I don't, I also, I don't think I'm going to have time to, oh man, I don't think I'm going to have time to do my plan about, about putting a treasure here and then going back down and getting the key and then coming up and transforming it. Like, especially because I want to. want to check all these spots. Well, I want to check all the these 10 walls for the secret secret room entrance. Okay, what if <laughs> if I do this, punch the lizard twice, transform, a shrimp appears. I shoot this. Am I, am I dead to the, am I dead to the shrimps or not? Um, have I moved from this spot at all? I don't think so. So I feel like it's only been three, four turns. Like a, I did a punch and two casts, sorry, two punches and two casts. Might, might be time to, time to think about, it might be time to count the turns. Okay. I... I could just like transform this one book that's going to be here. There's not a way to like transform the corner treasure while also transforming the duped treasure, I don't think. Has this been tested for through walls? I think it has. I'm fairly certain it has. <laughs> I 
maybe this could go through walls and go through walls and heal me. <laughs> I think it could actually. That's just so rare. <laughs> There's only two spots, so th it being those specific two is pretty silly to count on. Silly thing to count on. Um, yeah, let me let me let me think through what this looks like if I if I trans try to transform this book and then dupe it. I think the only way to make that happen is well, I mean I I, I could shoot this immediately. Or maybe I do want to do that actually. Then I. I do the dupe. It dupes both a shrimp and a lizard. But then... So then... So then there's a lizard here. And there's a shrimp here with one poison and here with zero. One, two, three, four, five. This shrimp is not getting to me. Alive. Shrimp here with one poison. <laughs> I I punched this lizard that just got that just hit my shield and got duped. I then have another lizard on me and I have to punch it twice. Hmm. Okay, so do this cast. Do this cast. Hang on. I, I'm, I also want to count the turns. Oh, it's too much. I I think yeah. Okay. I, I'm. I think I'm over. I think I'm thinking about this more than I normally would because I'm recording the video and talking through all my thoughts. And for some for some reason, this the, the the recording thing is is tempting me to like be more aggressive than I normally would or like. Try, try to think things through more than I normally would, which I feel like if anything, I should be thinking a little bit less than normal <laughs> so that there's not so much time of me deliberating and not really saying anything interesting. So I, I'm, I'm just going to, I am going to do the thing that I know I can get away with, which is going ahead and duping this. Let's 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 finish this. <laughs> let's finish this, Jogo. Um, and then I can. Well, might as well pick up this book. I might learn something helpful, and very not helpful. Um, I guess I might as well save this transform for this over here. Okay, let's 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 try to let's try to loosely count the turns and see if we have enough time because this is pretty awkward, pretty unfortunate key on the exact opposite side of the room from the from the book moment. Um, and I'm definitely not surviving. Oh wait, I can just I can use the door here to get out. I think that's what I'm going to want to do. So let's let's check all these bottom spots for the um, for the secret exit and then. Assuming we don't find it, we're going to go to the top, get this book, sorry, transform this book. Or maybe I should go ahead and just transform this. This also tests for a heal, which I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Very unfortunate transform. But yeah, I think, I think I'm guaranteed to get out here with... A less than ideal door spot, but at least I'm checking all the all the secret room spots, and I'm getting my treasure here. And I don't think this could screw me in some way that I'm <laughs> failing to anticipate. Just enough time, it looks like. All right. <laughs> okay, and I pretty sure there's nothing that could screw me here. I'm getting my getting my extra treasure. All right, secret room. Let's let's upgrade our arm. Yeah. So, <clears throat> like I like I was saying, one of the main reasons arm is good is because it's because it can get get the swap on it and let you get your get to your cape more often. This is maybe the, maybe the worst maybe the worst arm upgrade. I forgot about it when I was talking about arm upgrades earlier. So definitely taking this. 
build is starting to come together nicely already. All right, we once again, we're going to want to get keys. We're going to want to start thinking about collecting keys again. So breaking, breaking out this treasure would be nice by probably by standing here, breaking that wall and then duping that, duping that key would be nice. And it would be nice if we could no, no. when, whenever chickens are in play, whenever chickens and a dupe or a transform, whenever dupes or transforms are in play along with chickens, you want to try to figure out how to get the chickens to drop their treasure on top of, or like in a way that's aligned with other stuff. So, you know, we could try to get the chicken to drop its treasure there or there so that I can then dupe both the key and the chicken treasure. That would be nice. I'm um, not sure how realistic that is though. Because we might just need, well, I don't know. These ghosts are kind of the biggest problem right now. Like it would be nice if I could transform this ghost here, this first ghost while breaking this open, but that's not going to happen because it's on the opposite side of me. This ghost is on different parity. I'm on, I'm on bad parity for all the other ghosts. Hmm. curious what this could still have that that might help me here like maybe there's maybe it would be good to step right twice here and then just shoot this to the left i am at three health now um could this still have corner treasure no that was tested in zone one Could I maybe get to the <laughs> get to a position where I can earthquake? It doesn't seem likely. Although sometimes you can do a surprising amount with a ghost on you. It, like, since this is kind of a tight corridor here, like maybe I can just walk all the way up here. That might that might be the best thing to try, actually. Let's see. No, this this ghost is gonna block it, right? Like if I move one, two, three, then this ghost moves one, two, three, guaranteed. But maybe that's good also. Like, I move one, two, three, there's a ghost on me here, and this ghost is on up here. Actually, no. I think this ghost could move right. Yeah, this ghost could move right at the beginning. I don't know. The first my first move here is stepping right. I'm I'm certain of it. Okay. So now I, I, I don't know. I th I think there's a good chance. I, I want to get up here so that I can cast my <laughs> cast my stuff, my uh, my charge attack, and maybe maybe go ahead and dupe the key if it's the, if that's going to help me survive. And there's a good chance that this guy's going to block me in, so I can punch a ghost. And I've got a lot of time. If if I don't if I move right right now. I'm kind of losing time and I'm going to get surrounded at some point soon over here. Whereas if I move, if I move up, I'm pretty safe for a while from, from these other enemies. Um, I can maybe make something happen. I'm, I'm also, I guess, optimistic that maybe somehow this frog, I'll be able to end up killing this, like transforming the next ghost while also killing the frog or something like that. Yeah, this this feels this feels pretty good. There's there's too many possibilities for which direction the enemies go for me to really try to calculate everything, but this feels good. So I think this guy's guaranteed to move back. Hmm. No, because maybe this frog can move back left and then he'll try to move right. No, no, no. Because no. that'll the frog will only move. The frog will only not move down. Only possibility where the frog doesn't move down here is if this path is blocked, either by the chicken here or the ghost here. And if that's the case, then this ghost has a path, shorter path to me this way. So I think this ghost moves left here, guaranteed. And I think I'm about to get uh, get to punch one of these one of these boys. Okay, now I think this is about to work out very nicely. The downside, 
So this this works out nicely in in that I'm killing this ghost. I'm trans I'm turning this ghost into my friend and I'm getting a charge attack all at once, which is good, but I think I would rather step down right now. Transform this ghost, break this break this open. And then I'll have time to hmm I don't know if I'm if I'm not getting this charge attack, am I going to be able to kill the rooster before using my dupe? I want to kill the rooster before using my dupe so that I can so that I can dupe the rooster treasure as well. Maybe I also haven't considered duping the rooster treasure here. I also haven't really thought about what I'm going to transform. I mean, presumably I'm going to transform this potion, but maybe it's better to get the rooster treasure to drop here so that I can transform it along with this potion if, if needed. You know, if it doesn't give me a, if it doesn't give me a chest or a gem. There's, it's it's kind of awkward that the, I guess one thing that's going to happen here is one of the, one of these enemies is going to switch parody because it's going to kill my ghost friend. So I can, I, I don't know. I think, I think this is going to, this is going to turn out nicely. Let's see. Oh no, this, this chicken's going the other way. Hang on. So if I, if I do this right now, the ghost steps down here. And then it's like, I think I'm, I think I'm going to end up wanting to punch the frog. I think I'm going to use the target on the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try to use the target on the chicken and punch the frog. Um, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and punch the frog. I think I can maybe get an extra damage in on it here while, while it's attacking the ghost friend. No. <laughs> um, okay, well, there's some chance here that if I if I step right, I'll get to kill the frog and the chicken at the same time. Doesn't feel super likely, but worst case scenario, I guess I back up and you know snipe or punch, whatever the case may be. It's it's really unlikely actually, so it might not even be worth wasting the time to go for that. Hmm. I could go ahead and dupe the chicken. I could, I could cast this, or maybe step forward and then cast that. What is that? What does that look like? I mean, it gives you know, it gives me an extra chicken and then maybe I can transform three transform up to three things possibly well I guess I actually don't want to step forward first because what if this has chicken kill on it I wouldn't want to kill the chicken on that treasure um but do I want to do that I feel like I have time to like run the chickens around a bunch and be fine. Also, <laughs> if I'm using this, if I'm using this one to get corner treasure, I am, there's no way to get the exit into a good spot. The exit's going to either stay there if I use the corner treasure there, or it's going to put be put there. Um, I don't know. This feels kind of good to me. I'm doing it. 
Um, now, what do I want to do? I definitely don't want to step right and I definitely don't want to cast anything. So I guess I'm stepping up. And I guess I just want to snipe this frog, right? <laughs> Is there a reason? No, that, that chicken's definitely going up no matter what I do, I think. I was thinking I might want to step down and, and shoot this. But I think I, I think I want to step up and shoot this. I don't know. Once again, I think I'm thinking more than I normally would. I would just do something here. Um, seems fine. <laughs> this one is off parody with me, right? Or no, it's, hmm. This, this is unfortunate. Um, I think, I think I want to go ahead and get back down here because I want to collect all these treasures and then kind of work my way up to the top away from this. If I, away from the entrance where the chase frog is going to come out, if I, if I go up top right now and start, start dealing with this chicken, oh, why did I do this dupe, man? This, this was so stupid. <laughs> I didn't dupe the key. What, what? This, this, this was, this was the biggest mistake of this run so far by far. Uh, what? Why, why did I think that was a good idea? I guess because I'm getting more transforms here, but I'm not even. I'm just going to get two transforms. Okay. Also, anyway, I think I'm going down here. And I'm going to do this here so that I can uh, do, do an extra dupe if I want to, which I don't. <laughs> I mean, this could be what I was... I could be duping this tr this chest along with this key right now. I know that's not how random number generators work, but <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I think I think I want to just keep doing this. I'll, I want to I want to transform this. I'm just gonna punch this shrimp. I think I have time for this, right? Do I need to... Do I need to step down right now? I'm trying to think about the worst case with the chase frog. I don't know. I'm going to step down. Okay, so I can at least like do this. And then... Do I need to... Yeah, I need to, I need to punch the chase frog down so that I can then get this treasure. Pretty pretty disappointed in myself for not duping the key. I, but then again, <laughs> I've been playing for three hours straight, uh, which I never do. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 gonna try to deliberate a little bit, a little bit less in future videos. This is just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, pre pretty disappointing disappointing Jogo. I I ended up pretty low on health early on and didn't have a lot of. Uh, didn't have a lot of great abilities uh, for for doing for offense. Man, this had a this had a frog kill on it. I thought about that possibility, but it didn't seem worth risking it in, in any of the situations. I mean, I guess if I'm gonna blame something in this in this Jogo, I shouldn't be blaming the wands. Really, it's just it's more like I was just in bad situations a lot. I I came into a room in in, in, in awkward situations. But what do you, what are you gonna do? All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching this incredibly long video and I'll see you next time.